Hi there everybody. You're currently looking at a very very large caterpillar. It's a caterpillar from Mexico that I've shown before on my YouTube channel. But it's currently about the maximum size. Though it will still grow a few centimeters because it's still eating. Uh, it's a Citeronia species from Mexico as I've said before. It's the Citeronia Azteca. And here we see it tearing into the leaf of the liquid amber tree. It's a splendid caterpillar. Let me just put my hand close to it so you can estimate the actual size. It's quite large. And they do come close to the size of Citronia regalis. Though they are actually still a little bit smaller than the regalis. I still have nothing to complain about their size though they are absolutely beautiful. Just look at it. Absolutely marvelous creatures. And I'm, if, I'm very happy that I have the opportunity to raise these because I absolutely love Citeronia species. Look at it, eating. And Citeronia species tend to thrive very well on, uh, on amber tree, liquid amber. And as you can see by the size and fatness of these, you can tell they're having a great time on liquid amber tree. What's important to rear these very dry. Don't keep them wet because they will get infected and die if you keep them wet. At least that's what I've been told and I've been following that instructions with great success. I have a few more of them. All of them are pretty uh, well hidden in here. As you can see there are many other larvae. So these aren't still as big as the one I've been filming. Here's a few ones. And I'm currently in the process of changing their food plant. Here's the old food plant that's half been eaten. And in total I have about seven of them. And not all of them are on the fresh food yet. I still have to transfer a few of them. Here's a few more of them. Here are some smaller ones. They still have to grow to the larger size. Either way, thanks for watching and I hope to be able to show you the moth anytime soon. It will probably take a few months to develop. And these caterpillars spin no cocoons, they pupate underground. So I'll probably have to think about a nice substrate to offer them. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. It's been a great success.